Hey guys, welcome back to this series of tutorial on per unit calculation. This is tutorial number seven. In this tutorial, we have a 20 MVA transformer that has a reactance of 0 0.1 per unit. So that's a per unit reactance of 0 0.1 for the transformer in front of us. Now they're asking us what is its per unit reactance on a base of 50 MVA. So in this case, the 0 0.1 per unit reactance was calculated using the 20 MVA base. But now they are asking us to determine what is its new reactance, its new per unit reactance on a different base, which is a 50 MVA. So this is going to be a very simple calculations. So guys, if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel. That will be highly appreciated. I thank you. So moving forward, the solution is going to be very simple. We know the general formula for per unit calculations, but how are we going to solve this per unit problem if we don't have voltages that are given to us? because we need to calculate the new per unit while we have an old per unit that is given to us. Now, according to the general formula on your screen, we need voltages so that we can calculate the new per unit because we have an old per unit that is given to us and we do have uh, an old MVA and we do have a new base MVA. Now, don't worry, the trick is very simple. This is why it's called per unit because it's based on a unit system. So in case the voltages are not given, we should consider one volt as the voltage. So which means one volt will be the voltage for V1 and V2. So that is called the 1V per unit. Once we know that, the rest will be just simple. We're just going to fill up. We're just going to replace the values into our formula and boom, we should be able to determine what is the per unit value that they are asking. So below is a general formula. As you can see, Z per unit new will be equal to Z per unit old. Now Z per unit old, that is a 0.1 J that is given to us. SBN, that's SB new and that will be the 50 MVA and SB old, that is a 20 MVA. VB old now in this case it's not given so we consider one volt for V1 and V2 so which means VB old and VB new they will both be equal to one volt at this point we just replace into the formula and we have an answer that is 0, 0.25 J per unit so in power system uh, in a transmission line as shown below we can have an entire transformer like this transformer here and this one or this giant transformer here represented by a simple per unit value a percentage value that represent the quantities or rather the values of that transformer on a transmission line this is important when we want to be able to uh, determine what is the maximum current or the maximum fault current that can flow on the transmission line for instance let's say this 0 0.25 j per unit is this transformer here and we may have another per unit value right here and this is a transmission line so in case a fault has to occur somewhere in this pylon here we will know because of the value of the per unit value of this transformer and the generator, we'll be able to determine how much current, how much fault current, short circuit current, that will be present in this section of the transmission line in case of a fault. So this is why it's very important uh, doing power system analysis, knowing how to do your per unit uh, calculations. Ultimately, uh, that's going to help you if you want to ensure your system is protected. Because based on the, the magnitude of the fault current, you'll be able to determine what is the, the protection required, the size of the circuit breaker or any other protection apparatus.
So that is it guys, uh, very simple calculations to do. Thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to give the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to Simtech channel. That will be highly appreciated. Thank you.